Uh oh. That's not good. I don't think the Chibiko house is supposed to be on fire. Move! Alright, so notice that the, this room over here has uh, fire in front of it. So, to find Kaori. Kaori? I'm not good at uh, pronouncing stuff. You have to go into every single room in the house, including the bathroom, including the toilet. Do the fire over here is gone, and you can go in here and save Akira's sister. Why he takes the time to read her mind instead of just picking her up and getting out of the burning building, I don't know. I like that sprite. Arr! So, Matango gives you uh, Uh, Matango is like a, um, like, breed of mushroom or something, I believe, to give you, uh, psychic powers or something. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. I know they're a breed of mushroom, but I'm not sure why they give him psychic powers. Go, go, Bariki Dio. How big is that underground complex underneath that antique shop? For it to be way over there. He's having an aneurysm. See, if you had just picked your sister up and left, the roof wouldn't have been collapsing on you. That's all I'm saying. That's actually kind of cool. Okay, I admit that. Friggin' hand ripping the wall out and bleh.
So we are in the end game. So he's had like a uh, like a, a major aneurysm. <laughs> Oh no, they have lasers! Whatever shall we do? Warg! So, you want to remove this because we are going into the end game here. So, I want the Hiko Hio Coco Cannon and the Plasma Spark. So, these were actually only the only two of the uh, ones I was planning on taking. Uh, uh, Instead of the plasmic spark, plasma spark, you could also probably take the. Uh, if I were going to take a third one, it would probably be the lacquer uh, cannon. So. Yeah. But the reason I'm taking these is this is a long range single target attack that does really good damage. This is a long range multi target uh, or AoE attack that does decent damage. So, <laughs> plot dump. So, uh, the plot twist is Akira's father was working with the bad guys. Uh, Matsu ended up killing him and then, out of guilt, ended up taking, uh, kind of supporting Ch Chibiko House with his Taiyaki stand. Uh, Chibiko House being the uh, orphanage where the riot police captain's two children were.
out. So help me God, I will turn this robot around. He pulls Taro off too. Audio Temple. Your ass is grass. Sir, I have a giant robot. And on these little things, you want to use a halogen laser. If you run into something bigger, then use a Babylon cake. Unfortunately, none of these battles are worth any experience. Bariko, Bariki Dio is pretty beefy. Like, he's got, th I think, thousands of hit points. Uh, although it only shows 999 on the... Uh... Like, on the status menu there. But, that's fine. Just want to use halogen laser, laser here. As we head north. So what we'll do is we'll move up and we'll halogen laser these guys again and then we'll I guess jump jump bullet or something the other guy. Let's use Metal Hit, because I'll never use this in a... So you can see all the attacks. So, this guy... We want to do... Underneath it, I think, and just Babylon kick it. Yeah, that guy is actually troublesome, but yeah, I th think that's the best way to kill them. And now we must face the villains, the general and the scientist. <coughs> I guess they're going for like a hive mind kind of apocalypse where everybody is melted and this yeah that's not uh that is not water <laughs> that's all liquefied humans why it has to uh be exactly 2000 liquefied humans i don't know
Now we gotta fight uh, Lord Odio inside the Great Inko statue. Why the birds are flying into it, I don't know. Unless, like, hummingbirds are secretly evil in uh, the world of Live Live. I'm unsure as to what's going on. Maybe they're like the scattered remnants of uh, Lord Odio. Alright, so let's get ready for the final battle of this chapter. Right, Matsu? So the great Inko statue, first of all, you'll notice that the uh, the battle screen for this is actually smaller than normal. I think this is the only uh, one in the game that's this small. So you just want to Babylon kick this guy, basically. Just Babylon kick him until he dies. If he seals your uh, Babylon kick, then use Jump Jump for it. But the reason Babylon Kick is the way to go is because uh, it lowers his uh, constitution, which means he takes more damage. There's really no even even no point to watching your hit points in this battle. Uh, when you get below 999, it will actually show your hit points, but there's no point in worrying about it because um, it's it's really hard. You have to try to lose this battle. But that's the great Inko statue destroyed. And these thro three jokers. Get what's coming to them. As the liquefied humans basically pull a blob and eat them. This song in particular, for some reason, reminds me of uh, Saga Frontier, the mystic area I guess they were going to liquefy them and it ends on a cliff but not really, because uh, Akira was telling us the story, remember? Hey! That seems like it'd be a really good place to take a nap, actually. I think, I um, mean, they never outright say that Matsu it died, okay? Like, but it's pretty obvious that he did. And, uh, especially since, you know, uh, Akira is running his Taiyaki stand. And, uh, I'm not 100% sure, but my take on what happened was that Matsu died, and he kind of went into Bariki Dio and helped uh, power it 
so that Akira could move it. So it took both of them to move Bariki Dio. Critical hit. This chapter has the most uh, supporting cast, I think. So you've got Taru Matsu, Taiko, the director, the four kids, uh, the professor, Akira's sister. So that's what, what, 10, 11 people? I suppose, uh, I mean, the Cowboy chapter has a bunch of supporting cast as well, but like that chapter's literally 30 minutes long, so I don't know. It, it took me a little over two hours to beat this one. Cutting out if I didn't do any of the uh, the upgrading, it probably would have taken less than two hours. But yeah, you, you notice there that uh, he couldn't drive Bariki Dio anymore. I think that's why one of the reasons why I kind of take it as uh, Ma Matsu is why he was able to drive the mech. And this is another reason why I think Matsu is dead. Because Akira has his... His motorcycle. So that is the end of flow. Next time on Live a Live, the sci-fi chapter. Ooh.